now we are going to discuss the first law of thermodynamics so what is the explanation for this take an object or take a body which contains some n number of molecules in it which are arranged in a regular order some of the heat energy is given to this system to increase its temperature or to change its state some part of this heat energy which was supplied to the body will be utilized to increase its internal energy in internal energy some part will be utilized to do work we have supplied the heat energy the heat energy symbol is q where q is heat energy so what is the definition if some amount of heat energy is supplied to a body some part of it the heat energy supplied to a body some part of it is utilized to increase the internal energy of the system the remaining part is utilized to do the work let us suppose the amount of heat energy supplied to a body or system is called dq increase in internal energy let us suppose the symbol for the in internal energy is u where u is internal energy and the work is symbol w so the equation is dq is equal to du plus dw where dq is heat energy supplied du is increase in heat heat energy or internal energy and dw is work done by the system some process are reversible and irreversible in case of reversible process and in case of irreversible process this equation may go to the another shape in case of cyclic process this equation will go to the another shape so what we can expect in this from this equation is we can expect some different situations and the equations related to the different situations now we will see the special cases of the first law of thermodynamics as we know the equation dq is equal to du plus dw if heat energy is supplied to the system so dq is positive supplied to the system because we are adding the heat energy more if heat energy is lost by any system then dq is negative in the magnitude loss in heat energy
if the work done in reverse order to increase the internal energy or to decrease the internal energy then the work done magnitude will become negative dw is equal to negative reverse ordered work this reverse ordered work we can see as an example in the refrigerator's case and as well as if internal energy is increased it is du decreased negative du is plus when internal energy increases increase in internal energy and du is negative decrease in the internal energy in the internal energy if you go to the isolated system isolated system in a system which is fixed at one constant positions and independent of the surroundings there is no transmission or transfer of the heat energy from system to the surroundings because system was state at isolated state single state single system in this case there is no possibility to increase the heat energy that's why dq will become zero once the heat energy supplied to the system is zero automatically the work done will be zero because we can say from the joule's law of heating the work done is directly proportional to the heat energy supplied if the heat energy supplied or change in the heat energy is zero automatically the work done or the change in the work done will be zero therefore we can say zero is equal to du plus zero so answer will become du in case of isolated systems the energy the total work done is equal to simply the increase or decrease in the internal energy as of the original condition so like this we can see the first law of thermodynamics and their special cases now i are going to discuss a numerical which is based on this concept if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus